Yeah. I'll be around for the hook. There's no pattern going over there. I'll get you down the middle, anyway. That's yeah, but I'll get you down the middle. Don't worry. Don't worry. So you might just sit in there and get it over with. Yeah, but everywhere. Watch that wasp. The hundred years time we're looking back at. <laughs> stand beside me, stand beside me.
I turn out a minute.
Danica, Danica, hello. He's no, yeah. I'm sick of nose. John. They said an awful lot for the spirit of John. the community that particular time and the interest that it took in their own area. Turn off the telly. I was only very young at the time and I remember seeing all the people out in the evening. Seeing Mary Harmon here, Kevin Dial, Mrs. Hayes, all of them coming along, painting, painting every gate in the place and pulling every weed that grew. Now, the, 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 the tidy town that time was completely run by voluntary voluntary effort and by all the local people. It was only in later years then that uh, Foss became involved. When, when Father Little arrived here, Father Little and myself, we started the scheme for, for, for the, the, the CE scheme, it was called then. And it was operated operated from the, just from w w within, within the parish. And later on then, we were lucky enough to, to uh, form a company. And that particular time then, we were able to employ a supervisor. And we had a great supervisor here for a long time, Sean O'Toole, the late Sean O'Toole. He was a, a, a magnificent supervisor. And then we come along and we, 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 we had John Timmons. And I think that John Timmons and Mary Field, our secretary, I think probably deserves more credit than anybody else in the place 
for the work that we've done because every year when I come to applying for the grant for to run the scheme for the following year Mary had all her work done and there's a lot of work to be done in, in putting in the application you have to apply and apply for the grant and put in all the work that, that take place for next year and allocate different people for it and I think that we, which is, that Mary deserves a great hand for the work that she has put into doing that Now John Timmons, John Timmons, we are very fortunate to have him as supervisor because he has been working in the scheme how many years, John, have you been here? 16. 16 years. And he's got on very well with everybody. And I think everybody knows John, that John had his own way of doing things, but he always gets the work done. And I think it's a credit to him that he has never fell out with anybody and that he has managed to keep the scheme going. And, and all you have to do is look at the surrounding areas that, that, that he has kept. So a big hand for John. I'd like to say a special, a special tribute to the, the, the people that are, that, that are here, still here with us that made all this possible. There's Ted and Joan Colbert and Eileen Hayes, <laughs> Mary Harmon, Dick Harmon, Dick Harmon, who was our treasurer here at the time, along with Peter Kenny. <laughs> and you know, only, only this year, uh, we had a dormant account in the tidy town back since, back since 73. And between Dick and myself, we resurrected it. And we got 182 euro <laughs> that was in the, in, in the account since then. So big, big hand for Dick there. Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, a lot of people have passed on since then. And uh, there, was, there was Nat Pearson, senior and junior. There was, Aiden, there was Aiden Darcy, Hugh Rafferty, and Mrs. Rafferty. There was Birdie Hayes, Aiden Darcy, uh, Kevin and Chris Dyle, uh, Mick Kenny, Mr. Hannigan, Joe Lindsay, Jim O'Brien, Paddy McKay, Winnie Phelan. And Jim Kenny. And during all that year that we were successful, there was one man here, Tony Duffy, who was supervisor with the council at the time, and he did a tremendous amount of work uh, around the, with the council to make the village look perfect at the time. And big hand for Tony. So, all remains for me to say then is that we're having a, a, a attraction then. Philip, Philip and Jane have been so generous to offer their place for their whole, whole attraction next Sunday uh, for the the Development Association, <coughs> which sponsors Kiltegan, Ratdangan, Lochanana and High Park, Tanak and Talbestown. And I, and I think that uh, they deserve great credit for making their place open for this event next Sunday. And I hope that everybody comes and supports it. <coughs> so with that few words, I want to thank you all for coming here and safe home. We'll have a bit of music now for about 10 minutes.
Yeah, I'm hoping I didn't get it. Well, it was about the time around, it'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would.